going, guys? I'm in kind of a good mood. I was going to play some League, but, you know, had to deal some stuff, in which is just too damn late to bother doing that and stuff like that. So I said I got my third recording in for my song for my album, so I'm happy about that. And I'll just basically be finishing and editing and all that crap tomorrow. So, uh, big update. No game trailers. And you're probably wondering why. Well, because we're going to be getting hit with a second uh, second storm. So it means more snow. Ugh. It's like, the first first storm, I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. It's going to be over and done by the weekend. And then I just literally got notified by one of my family members. Hey, by the way, there's going to be a second storm rolling in. Great. And it's going to be hitting tomorrow. So, still on for right now. You guys are just going to be getting your movie trailer action, so... Uh, I've been wanting to get some game recordings, game recordings in, but it's like with the crappy weather and then working and dealing with family matters, it's just like, eh. it's like I like to have me some me time here. Um, but yeah, so it's like till the snow crap eventually ends, you know, I will try to get recordings in when I can. I'll try to choose particular days where it's like either the weather's not too bad or <clears throat> or it might be like. One moment. I gotta get something to drink here real quick, but I do apologize. Gatorade. <laughs> Frost, too. But I'll try to get a day's where uh, it's like sunny, where the weather's actually good, and I'll try to get some game recordings in. It's gonna really take up the full day because each one's gonna take like two hours to render and then two hours to upload and something like that, and then I'll try to sneak them in when the weather actually gets better. Uh, for male movie trailer actions, Lula just looked it up. Uh, the Northmen, Devlin Bout Vikings. You know, I love Viking culture. Vi like, out of uh, the three main cultures I like the most, you know, based on, like, mythology or uh, design, like, um, arts and, like, music and stuff like that, is, uh, like, Scandinavian, like, Viking um, culture. You know, um, Native American culture and Japanese culture. Those are probably my top three biggest ones I like the most. You know, on top of like Greek and Roman and Egyptian and stuff like that. But I usually tend to lead towards more of those three than anything else. But uh, I'm going to stop rambling on and we'll get to this uh, trailer reaction. Oh, 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 oh. I just recognize this. Hold on a minute. Can't be. No, no, no. We're not skipping that now. Hold on. Skarsgård? I recognize that name. Alexander Skarsgård. Uh, just recognize I don't know who Alexander is. He, God, I want to say... No, it can't be. Because the only two Skarsgårds I know is, is the one that was um, in the Avengers who played the Professor and the uh, gentleman who played It. I don't remember his name. Nicole Kidman's in it. Oh, crap. Uh, Ethan Hawke. I recognize that name. Okay. That's, well. Ooh. He's here. He's here. Mother! Mother is here! The king, my lady. The king. There's no gold kidman. Your fate is set and you cannot escape it. How oh, I've missed you, my son. One day this kingdom will be yours. Thank you, Father. My king. Oh? Yeah, but... Father! Oh, snap! Uh-oh. For whom you shed your last tear drop. Oh, I love that. I can feel now. <laughs> yep, that does not surprise me. familiar too. You must choose between kindness for your kin or hate for your enemies. Your strength breaks men's bones. Ah! I have the cunning to break their minds. And night by night, 
We will carry out my pledge of vengeance. I will avenge you, Father. I will avenge you, Father. <laughs> what? That was badass. <laughs> oh yes. All right. All right, I got some to say, things to say. When it comes to Norris movies and they got to be good Norris movies. I don't really care for much for like B-rated crappy Norris movies or any thing that's like based on, you know, culture like that. It's like B-rated cuz I know like don't get me wrong. I know most film companies have to, you know, start as B-rated. You know, the lackluster and green screens or CGI, you know, and it's kind of cheesy to look at. But, you know, they have to build up that money in order to get better. When it comes to Norris movies, there are, like, very few that I can say that I've actually ever liked or ever seen. They're actually really good. And uh, the one thing that kind of got really good vibes from is when he's in that village... And he's fighting him off, and he hits that guy with the axe on the on the horse. I got really heavy Conan vibes from that, you know. And uh, the other one that uh, I got vibes from, I do not remember the name. I'm probably gonna probably gonna say the wrong movie, so I do apologize. Uh, it was a Viking movie esque. I wanted to say it was Outlander, and I know I want to say there's two versions of it. It was like Outlander or their Outlander or something like that. Where it was a guy who was uh, from the future, was in a spaceship, and he crashed into, I want to say like back in time, or he was an alien or some crap like that. But he, he was human, basically. And he crashed back in time to the northern uh, Norse times. And an alien creature followed him at the same time. And he was, uh, the alien creature started wrecking havoc, and he started to join the North, Norseman culture to take down the alien creature. I cannot remember the name of it. I know someone will leave a comment below about it. But that was actually a really good movie, in my opinion. I liked it because it also had, um, God, Ron Perlman in it, too. So if you know what movie I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Uh, yeah, I love how he they do chuck the spear and he grabbed it, turn around and throw it back. That was badass, you know. Yeah, this is definitely a movie I consider watching. Does it say when it's coming out? It's probably not until next year, I have to guess. When is it coming out? April. Oh snap! Yes. Yeah, this is definitely a movie I'm hyped for. Uh, like I said, when it comes to Norse movies, they're they're a rarity. You know, and I know there's like the Viking TV show. I, I think it's on the History Channel. I gotta watch that too. But uh, yeah, like I said, they're they're a rarity. You know, but this actually looks good because it, it what, what I like about it most is that it sticks. It, you know, it adds the Norsemen to it, and adds their culture and stuff like that. But it doesn't really add kind of like the cheesiness to it, where they add like CGI creatures and crap like that into it. They just strictly to like strict. They strict it to, you know, just human on human warfare. You know, and it shows you, you know, what he has to go through living in, you know, Scandinavia and in the colder parts of that area. You know, because that was a really rough area to live in. You know, you have fjords. You know, almost nothing grew there. You know, because it was just, it was just solid ice, just barren lands and stuff like that. You know, and uh, if you don't know much about Norse culture, it's something definitely to look into. It will definitely, you know, catch your eye and catch your attention. You know, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to see this. <laughs> but I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to get this edited out for you guys and you guys will see this tomorrow. You know, and uh, like I said, I'll keep continue to keep you updated on the Twitter and the Discord of how the hell the weather's going and stuff like that. So, uh but anyway, we guys staying safe and healthy, and uh, leave a comment below what was your favorite uh, Norris movie or TV show, and uh, I'll read them. <laughs> I'll see you guys.